Hello students, welcome back to Engineers Academy. Do subscribe my channel if you are here for the first time. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that the two aluminum rods support the vertical force P of 20 kN. Determine their required diameters if the allowable tensile stress for the aluminum is 150 megapascal. So this is C rod and this AB rod, they are made up of aluminum and their allowable uh, normal stress is 150 megapascal and this force P has a magnitude of 20 kilonewton. So we are asked to find the diameters of rod AB and AC for the allowable stress of 150 megapascal. So now we can say that um, since uh, as you guys can see that if this point A is pulled with a force P then rod AB and rod AC, both of them are in tension. So if they are in tension, they are going to apply the force at A outwards, right? So we will have FAB, FAC in, this, in these two directions, right? So they will be going to act away from this point A. So let me show these forces. So we will have FAB acting like this. This will be FAB and we will have FAC and FAB is making 45 degree angle with the horizontal. So we can resolve this FAB into its components. So one of its component is going to act in this direction. This one will be the cos component. So FAB cos of 45 and this one will be the sine component. FAB sine of 45. So now since that uh, point A or joint A is in equilibrium, this P force is a magnitude of 20 kN. So if we apply the sum of the forces in the X, that must be equal to 0 towards the right is our positive X. So we can say that FAB cos of 45 is in the positive X. And FAC is in the negative X. This is equal to 0. And similarly, if we apply the sum of the forces in the Y, so the sum of the forces in the Y direction is also equal to zero, upward direction is considered to be positive. Now we have the sine component of FAB in the positive Y. So we have FAB sine of 45 in the positive Y and that P force is in the negative Y. So P is 20 kN, this is equal to zero. And from this, we can say that FAB is plus 20 divided by sine of 45. 20 divided by sine of 45, this gives us 28 point FAB is 28.284 kilonewton. And similarly, from this equation, from this equations we can say that FAC is the cos component of FAB. So FAB cos of 45. So we can say that this answer multiplied by cos of 45, this gives us 20. So FAC is equal to 20 kilonewton. So FAC is equal to 20 kilonewton. So now this FAB is the force on rod AB and this FAC is the force on rod AC and both are in tension and the allowable stress for rod AB and rod uh, AC is 150 megapascal. So we can say that for rod AB we can say that the allowable tensile stress or the allowable normal stress is equal to FAB divided by the area of FAB, so which is cross-sectional area is circular, so which will be pi divided by 4 dia of AB square, this will be equal to 150 mega Pascal, so 150 mega is 10 raised to power 6, Pascal is Newton per meter square. Now we know FAB, so we will put FAB equals to uh, 28.284 and this is kilo right so multiply by 10 raised to the power 3 so this will give us the dia of rod AB so dia of rod AB will be equal to 
4 into 10 raised to the power 3 divided by pi divided by 4 into 150 into 10 raised to the power 6 the units we will be left with meters so this is 28.284 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 3 divided by pi divided by 4 multiplied by 150 into 10 raised to the power 6. So this gives me dia of EB 0 0.01549 meters and if I multiply it with 1000 so dia of EB is equal to 15.49 mm. Similarly, for rod AC, again the allowable normal stress for rod AC is 150 megapascal, and that will be equal to FAC divided by this cross sectional area. So now FAC is 20 kilonewtons, so 20 into 10 raised to the power 3 divided by pi divided by 4 into dia of AC square equals to 150 megapascal into 10 raised to the power 6 newton per meter square. This is in newtons as well. This is in newtons and this is in newtons. They will cancel out and we will be left with a unit of meters. So if we rearrange this equation again, we will have DAC equals to 20 into 10 raised to the power 3 pi divided by 4 into 150 into 10 raised to the power 6 under the square root. So this gives me dia of rod AC equals to 0 0.0130 three approximately in meters and if we multiply this with 1000 so dia of rod AC is 13.03 mm so this is the dia for rod AB if the allowable uh, normal stress or the tensile stress is 150 megapascal and similarly this is the dia for rod AC which is 13.03 mm so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe ingenious academy for the solution of such more problems from mechanics of materials by rc hibler